And welcome back to the start of a new Who Would Win? Who Would Win? The What If? Uh, and, as you, and if you were part of the poll I did, uh, was it about a few weeks ago? Uh, it wasn't that long ago, actually, but it was a few weeks ago. We did a poll about which what of the two suggestions you had there, which one you wanted to see first. Most of you voted for the cheat. Actually, it was pretty close, actually. I think it was like, uh, let me actually check. I'm going to check what, how close that poll was. It was a relatively, that was close. Uh, the, the lowest recent one was not that close. But um, this one, this uh, the first one I did was actually reasonably close. Oh, yeah, it was 59 to 41. So not overly close, but closer than the 34 to 66 on that last last one. That's for certain. Uh, but, yeah, it was well, the obviously you want Chi-Chi training first. That just got finished up. So now we're doing what if Guru fused with Kami or Piccolo on Earth. Now, I have Kami here because I honestly feel like this is the more likely of the two. And even if he did fuse with Piccolo, it's ultimately going to result in... Piccolo's still going to ultimately result uh, fuse with Kami as it is. So, or, uh, so I actually don't see that much of a change happening here. But first and foremost, what would happen? Well, I first believe that Guru makes Mori the new elder. He's the one who basically is now the one who's in charge of the Dragon Balls, as he should be. What I don't think he did was transfer his ability to release the inner potential of someone. Because we don't know if Mori has that ability or not. We just don't. We never see it. Um, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, we never see it. So that ability probably still lies with Guru. Add in all his years of experience that he's, we know he's actually older than Kami. Because Dende in the most recent movie said, yeah, sorry, we only gained that ability when at a certain age. And if Kami was ever able to do it, then that means Guru is old, much older than Kami. But what happens is Guru says, I, I can sense him, this Kami. I'd like to speak with him, if possible, before I go. And then Kami, uh, Kami shows up. Ah, so you are you are the one known as Guru. It's like, I am, and you are the son of Katan, or whatever his... <laughs> whatever his clan's name was like i am you've done you've done a great service nurturing these these honorable warriors my people are in their debt as in by extension in your debt and that's really not it's the job of the earth's guardian to do what he must well why are you telling me this little guru well it's a pleasure to meet you you clearly are not well you don't have much time this is why i have summoned you uh, asked for you kami I would like I would like you to continue on. Uh, I would like you to take what I know and to continue on and, and to and to continue on to protect and nurture these warriors so they may continue to protect the, the innocent, my people and yours alike. I think, are you suggesting that we indeed? It's like Lord Guru, are you? But that technique is written. To, and then you get into like a little bit of a rich. Well, technically, it's only forbidden. Uh, only forbidden in certain circumstances, but for the greater good, it is, uh, it is a technique that is uh, that is allowed and permitted. And as the elder, uh, I get to make the rules, and you don't. So shut up. <laughs> it's like, are you certain, uh, Kami? Are you certain about you? Certain you want to do, do this? Mm. I I am older. I am old myself, but not quite. Uh, <laughs> you have much. I, you there is much experience I could gain from you, uh, uh, Lord Guru. I accept your conditions. And say, Guru says his follow where wells. They do the process and Kami and Guru fuse. Now, as we know, there is at least somewhat of an increase in power. If you were two halves of the same hole merged back together, there's a huge buff in power. Although, I argue it might have been a times two multiplier regardless. Uh, but really, what you're getting is also the knowledge and experience of the other, as well as probably their, their abilities. Um, excuse me. Oh God. Mm. No, I am serious. As well as their knowledge and abilities, to which he has the knowledge of his Namekian heritage again. He maybe gotten a little bit of a buff, but nothing amazing. Uh, but more importantly, he's got the ability to unlock potentials again now. It's like very. This is this power. It feels amazing. I will. I will carry this badge on. Blah blah blah. Uh, you really. So you fuse with, so the old slug man fused with an older slug man. Big deal. Uh, you don't get, hey, don't talk to him that way. And go on, she's like, cute. Shut up, Vegeta. <laughs> Please. Uh, and without, 
uh, uh, please. And if you get Buzz, like, I'm the strongest thing on this planet, but without Goku, you know, I'm the, Kakarot, I'm the strongest on this planet, but none. And so what are you going to do about it? It's like, and then Kami just kind of casually looks at Frieza, at Vegeta, is like, is that right? <laughs> and he's just like, what are you doing? Piccolo, come, uh, come here. It's like, what are you? It's like, yeah. Uh, if you if you fuse the nail, I'm assuming, uh, I can sense. So you, so I think you know what I'm doing. It's like, uh, and then Pickle actually has a bit of a, well, you sly old bat, you sly old bastard. He's like, huh. and he just, Wah! it's like, whoa, whoa, this is amazing. It's like, oh, what is it? Ah, what did you? Do? I did, I just did what uh, what my predecessor would have done. Unlocked Piccolo, my my uh, other house potential. So Piccolo, if you'd be so kind, I'm going to head back to the lookout. Right, right. See you, see you around, Kami. And then so Piccolo, who's now just gotten an eight times minimum buff, is now looking dead, uh, dead at Vegeta, who's just like, it's like, so what was that about you being the strongest on this planet? Uh, oh, uh, it's like, it's like, right. And Piccolo, we know we'll get a much further buff beyond that. Uh, remind me to give Goku this added, added, added uh, uh, boost as well the next time he shows up. And so, time goes by, Piccolo is way stronger than he is in the canon right now. Like, huge power boost. Uh, and so when Vegeta, Frieza still shows up, he's still not strong enough to take on Frieza or Cole, but he could definitely give them at least somewhat of a fight. Uh, and ultimately, Trunks shows up. Vegeta maybe trains a bit harder, too. Just because Piccolo is that much stronger, it's like damn it all. But Trunks kills Frieza. Goku shows up. It's like, hey guys, I'm back. Well, wow, Piccolo, you how'd you get so strong? Funny story about that. Uh, story about that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after the fact. And you're Goku, right? Yes, I'm Goku. And then Trunks dips his whole spiel. F's off. It's like, look, Goku. Uh, I'm gonna. We all. Deserve, we're not. I'm not gonna say anything to. Um, threaten your or, or harm your friend but we all have the right to know and so they explain about the androids and what they need to do now piccolo does say that uh, before we all go though you, uh, you guys come with me as he basically points out a uh, mentor uh, looks to goku tia and yamcha and uh, chatsu and the reason for this is they didn't get their buffs yet they haven't gotten any sort of increase in power yet so they go to Kami. He's like, "Oh, Goku, it's good to see you again, my boy." It's like, "Yeah, go." So what's up, uh, Kami? I mean, we gotta get training for these androids. Yes, I, I heard about that. Piccolo related to me, and I'm just I'm here to give you an added uh, boost in the fight. You asked, really? You asked why Piccolo was had gotten so how Piccolo had gotten so strong prior. It's because, and he explains, I fused with the Elgrena, and one of the abilities he imparted on me is to unlock potential. It's how K Goku and Krillin also got as strong as they did on the planet. It's like, whoa, really? Isn't that kind of cheating? It's like, come on, Goku. It's not a, it's it's not cheating. It's just unlocking your potential and going from there. It's like, I guess, I guess that's the case. Yeah, me, me. Uh, it's like, yeah, me. And it's like, yeah, sure, why not? I don't want, I'm not planning to fall behind. And so he goes to Chaozu, who gets nice little buff, however strong he is, still won't be able to cut it, and he still probably stays behind. Tian and Yamcha get a decent boost, to the point where actually Krillin would no longer be the strongest human, uh, because up until that point, Tian was actually, the well, not pure, pure, pure human, Krillin was still the strongest. Uh, but Tian is technically not fully human. And then Goku gets his buff, and he's, we already know how strong Goku is, he now is way like, <laughs> uh, like if I, while I will never, I don't go power levels past the uh, Namek Saga, I will say, if where I have the power levels in my book, Goku's power is probably around... Ooh, is he's, he'll, oh, and then I gotta factor in, yeah, actually I gotta factor in the fact he gets the initial eight times plus whatever his own personal potential is. So, Goku gets a huge boost to the point where his base is strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the androids. His base, mind you, not his full power, but his base is actually right around capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the androids. So, then you get to the training they do, and Piccolo and Goku and Gohan are all training. Um, and Piccolo gets a huge boost again, because he's been. we know how strong he got prior to, uh, or in the canon, 
while training with Goku to the point where he could go toe-to-toe and beat Android 20, a.k.a. Jerome. So this Piccolo would even go even further beyond, even further beyond! Uh, he'd go even further beyond, and Goku wouldn't get that much stronger, but he'd pretty much unlock his full potential that he got with the Guru, with the Kami boost. As well as, um, and I'm actually surprised, we actually might be able to turn this into a multi-parter. I was actually thinking this might only be like a one, uh, like a sing- uh, one shot, but it looks like we might actually go into multiple parts. Um, yeah, he, he, he unlocks that full potential because he's so much stronger at that point that he can't really grow that much comparatively. Uh, add on Super Saiyan at this point, which would be huge in terms of power. Like, again, in my head, where I currently have Goku and power, um, thinking, think words real quick, I th- would have him probably, let's see, times 10, times... Yeah, he eclipses perfect cell right now in terms of power. No joke. Uh, but there's that little issue of the heart virus. Nothing about that changes. He's still going to get the heart virus. Now, what does happen, though, is that Yamcha, while still getting beaten by the androids, doesn't just get a hole through his stomach. I think he does at least put up a brief fight, but still ultimately gets yamcha Then Goku comes, cracks Jiro in the jaw, and unlike in the original, where he's just, just like, it's, it just goes straight into a building. Uh, even though Goku is weakened at the moment, he is still capable of completely wrecking shot for the time being. They get Yamcha there. Jiro's like, you really, you are something, son Goku. But how, but we have been prepared for such power. Uh, we are, we have power. It's like, nay, let's take this somewhere else. And Goku's kind of like, you're not looking so hot. Goku. I'm fine. Just a little winded. And just, uh, uh, we prepared for all eventualities. Really, did you uh, prepare for Goku being a Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. And then, ha! Ah, and it powers up. And, um, and while he is weakened, he is light years beyond 19 or Jiro. He just quickly starts making mincemeat of 19. Uh, he, 19 does get some of his energy like he does in the original. But this is after maybe taking one of his arms off. It's like, ah, I don't have all of your energy. <laughs> I saw he was like doing a 19 impression. I am all squeaky and evil. I am evil. Robo. I am evil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, oh man, they absorb energy? That's too much. And Goku's quickly weakening. However, he does still have the strength to definitely put 19 down. Just boom! Just, ah! <sighs> so, is that all you got? You still want to go? I was like, Go, Goku! Uh! I was like, Dad! Uh, it, seems, it seems you're not doing well, son Goku. But unfortunately, uh, while I'd love to stay in. Uh, well, uh, this is, uh, this is my chance. And then Vegeta comes in. Boom! It's like, ah, uh, Vegeta! It's like, you're a disgrace, Kakarot. Go get, go get your medicine. I'll handle this from here. And Vegeta is a little stronger than his original counterpart. Or counterpart. Um, now, is Vegeta going to get his potential unlocked? Eh, probably not. Uh, this is the thing where they just don't trust Vegeta enough to do that. And at this point, it makes sense. Now, granted, he's still able to completely start pounding on Jiro. But Jiro is able to kind of, you know, f- uh, absorb some magic. <laughs> it's like, Stop it! Uh. Yeah, it's like, Ugh. But he also can tell Piccolo's ready to fight. He's like, uh, nope, I'm noping out of here. It's like, get him! It's like, can't sense his energy. He finally is able to get to his lab, awakens the androids. The androids wake up, take him out. Vegeta and the gang get there. Vegeta gets his ass kicked by 18, although not as bad. Because he's a little stronger here, he is able to hold out for a bit longer. And even though Piccolo is also stronger uh, in this version than his original, I'd actually put him probably on par with Vegeta. Because Piccolo was not as strong as Vegeta at that point. We uh, He did recognize that he was... Uh, he wasn't quite as... Vegeta was stronger. But he's probably on par with Vegeta, so... He gets his shit kicked in by 17, the same with Tien. Uh, which now leads to the Kami saying, Piccolo, we need to talk. And him going, talking, is like, there's a threat looming. He's like, we know about the android. We're doing our damnedest, but Goku's out of commission right now. It's like, the androids are a threat, but that's not what I'm referring to. And so he explains how they need to fuse, combine together, say, Ariel, so what will happen? It's like, we will be merged. All the, everything I know, everything, all my experience will go to you. Not to mention the increase of power. We will become the same being we were years ago. 
And so Piccolo's like, fine, let's do this. And they fuse. And he gets all of Kami and Guru's knowledge, plus the time, the multiplier boost he got there. So now he is de facto the strongest guy in the series until Goku wakes back up. And so he goes, finds Cell. Their situation goes the same, or scenario goes the same, except Cell's actually in a much worse spot. His Piccolo is a lot stronger. And uh, he still nopes out of there. Meanwhile, the androids are doing their thing. They have woken 16. Piccolo ultimately go to Kami's house. Piccolo ultimately challenges 17. And Piccolo is able to keep up with 17 a lot longer and press 17 a lot harder for a lot longer. 17 is actually in a bad way for a little while until Piccolo started to kind of, you know, tire out. And then Cell shows up. And unfortunately, Goku is not... I don't believe Goku is awake at this point. Uh... <clears throat> No, wait, actually, was Goku awake at this point? Yes, actually, no, I'm sorry. Goku did ultimately wake up around the time Cell became semi-perfect Cell, if I'm not mistaken. Because they were paying attention to the fight from the lookout, if, I'm not, if I remember correctly. So the question is, when, I'm trying to remember, when did Goku wake up exactly? Uh, I want to say it was right around where, um, yeah, it was right, I th actually, no, I, I believe it was during the fight, wasn't it? And then he went off, found Vegeta, fight continued, and eventually Cell showed up. So I think that's the case. Instead, though, what you'd have here is that Goku knows his own strength. Got a Zenkai probably from the heart virus. And, uh, and quickly flies off because Goku is actually strong enough to handle any of those guys right now. So he's gone off, he's flying. Uh, flying there. Ultimately, though, Cell shows up, and he's about to absorb 17 before they sense er the energy. Goku shows up, kicks Cell in the face, just, bah! yeah, uh, Goku, this is Son Goku. Uh, <clears throat> so, you're the one. So, here we finally meet. Unfortunately, I'm a little busy. Would you mind waiting until I eat my brother and sister? It's like, no way. Uh, no way. There's no way I'm going to let something like you live. It's like, oh, that seems a bit racist, don't you think? Um, whatever. And, like, yeah, and he powers up. And he powers up to full power. It's like, yeah, and everyone who can sense energy is like, whoa, what the? He's this strong? And only Piccolo knows that Goku is honestly this strong. It's like, yeah, ugh, took you long enough. It's like, sorry, Piccolo, I'll take care of it from here. It's like, ah, be careful. He has all of our techniques, even the solar flare. So don't let him try to pull one out over you. It's like, yeah, no, that's kind of cool. So I wonder how strong you really are. It's like, uh, uh, and just tries to go for something. It's like, boom, just, and Goku just grabs it. Uh, it's like, no, I told you, you're not getting these guys. And just starts beating the living hell out of Cell. Not rhyme, not intended, but funny nonetheless. Or cute, anyway. And so Goku is just making this uh, making this creature his bitch for the time, isn't it? And they're, and they're all seeing this. And 16, he was like, there's no way any of us could defeat Son Goku. His power is just truly too immense. Yeah, buddy, kind of getting that right now. Holy crap! <laughs> like, I can't even sense energy, and I can taste that. Uh, go, go, uh, Krillin, do you feel that? I taste that! <laughs> um... So, uh, ultimately, Goku does just waste Cell, and that's all she wrote. And so, uh, Vegeta is still all pissy. Like he can't. Why can't he win? Why can't he get ahead? Uh, and there's no real reason he's the hype block time chamber right now. So they beat Cell, and then Goku confronts the androids. Like, so you're the android, the real android, so not the Jarell, not the weird clown guy in Jarell. He's like, yeah, we're we're Android 17 and 18, but Laplace and Larzui are real names. This is Android 16. He was programmed to kill you. Uh, what do you say, big guy? You want to have a go at him? I do not wish to do that. He's <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so I guess that the, it's your choice. You want to fight, or do you want to just, or, or you want to just give me a gun? Are you, or do, or we can let, just let this be, uh, like bygones be bygones. Like, yeah, I'm kind of liking the bygones be bygones thing. Truth be told, the only reason we were acting is because the doctor kind of put that idea in our heads. And we were kind of bored, to be honest. So, you know, it was a fun fighting the green guy, but pretty sure you'd wipe the floor with us. I was like, well, I mean, I'm not that. I mean, you guys seem really strong, but you're also pretty tired out. Wouldn't be fair to fight you like that. Uh, right, that's really sportsmanlike of you. 
Well, if you're not gonna, well, if you're gonna, as long as you guys keep it cool and don't hurt people, I mean, there's no reason for us to really fight. It's like, seriously? You're just gonna let us go like that? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> like I said, uh, but you try, but if you try to do anything uh, evil or uh, evil or cruel, you you will be definitely having some uh, words. It's like, uh, yeah, no, I, we believe you. We believe you. But I mean, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. Maybe we'll bang a midget. <laughs> it's like, I'm available. <laughs> No, but seriously, I don't know. I don't. My programming is still telling me to attack, kill Son Goku. However, I, my, however, the, there is a part of me that does not wish to do so. Now, um, the do, the doctor, the Doctor Jero base programmed me. It, it said you were a threat, and programmed me for that. But everything I'm seeing here tells me otherwise. You are you are a you are a um, protector of this world, of its of its life, of its people, of its birds. It's like, uh, it's like, yeah, I, I like birds too. It's like, you do like birds? Mm, you like birds? What are your, what is your favorite bird? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. Well, I mean, I love chicken, but turkey's great too. Uh, no, but then there's those pretty, uh, pretty cardinals that, ooh, I have not heard of cardinals yet. <laughs> and so, see, that's the thing. Because he's doing, you know, at least a bridge version of 60, I could weirdly see them bonding over birds. Like, birds are cool. I love birds. Uh, especially, especially when you fly in the sky. Like, I am not flown yet, bird. <laughs> like sixty, like eyes. I say, how did I not realize I could fly with the birds? Uh, but yeah, so there basically there is a like a piece of truce that is met with them, uh, and yeah, uh, Trunk says he that you know it's gonna be tough going back. Well, wait a minute, wait, hold on, Piccolo, can't you just awake unlock his energy? Uh, like come with us? Well, I actually that's a good question. Can I? Hmm. And he hears like I was said, I'll give it a try, Piccolo. You might be surprised. Hold on, kid. Let's give you a, let's give you a, uh, your uh, your timeline a little bit of a boost. And he just says, Whoa, this is incredible. It's like, oh, uh, how about that? <laughs> we weren't you. Uh, I can't do that. What? what? You you've got to give me. A, you've got to do it for me. Yeah, right. You bear you. It's like, tell you what, you can beat me in a straight fight, and I'll do it. <laughs> You're on the kid. And then, so they go, and now a rivalry with Vegeta and Piccolo can start, because he wants Piccolo to unlock his potential, help him catch up. The problem is, Piccolo is leagues above him right now. Granted, it's not like a complete smackdown. Vegeta can certainly put up a fight. But Piccolo is, like, using arbitrary numbers right now. If Vegeta is, like, at around a 250, roughly, or a 300, Piccolo is at a 500. That's an arbitrary number to kind of compare where they're at. Definitely could put up a fight, but Piccolo's definitely got the edge. <laughs> and Go Goku just laughs at it. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's hilarious. Dad, you're okay. He's like, yep, I'm okay, Gohan. And so, all's well that ends well for right now. But danger looms at a seven-year horizon. What will they do against the power of Disney and Bibbidi Bobbidi and Boo? Join us next time on Dragon Ball Z. What if? What if Kami and Piccolo fuse with Guru? Do, 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 do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, you want us to review something, put in the comments below. See you later, folks.